After grafting is over, let's have a look at these flaps. So as discussed earlier, a flap has a vascular supply in it, right? Okay, so we have like a mid phase, a muscle phase, the muscle flap or the myocutaneous flap or the, you know, it's like the facial cutaneous flap. It depends on the type of tissue that the flap has, you can name it. So we have a mid phase flap, the muscle flap and all this. So you will have to report for these services when the service is actually a placement of this flap. Okay, because it is not that easy. They'll have to prepare the graft in one phase and then they'll have to place it, right? So preparation of such grafts, we can report these codes or for the placement of these uh, grafts. Next, coming to these other procedures that we know, these procedures have both a cosmetic and a medical necessity. Uh, both the things are there. It's like two sides of a coin because some pays might not reimburse you because you should have a medical condition in order for these services to get reimbursed. So one such thing is like blepharoplasty. Blepharo meaning eyelid, plasty meaning a repair. So it's a repair of the eyelid. In people who have drooping of eyelids, like say for dermatochalysis where there is drooping of the eyelid, so there is weighting down of the lids. In such cases, a provider repairs the eyelids. So depending on the eyelids, whether it is the upper eyelid or the lower eyelid, you will have to report the codes and please assign the modifiers as well. We have those anatomic side modifiers of the eyelids. It's like E1 for the left upper, E1, E2, E3, E4, left upper, left lower, right upper and right lower, which is E4. Coming to rightidectomy, righters are wrinkles. So they are going to remove the wrinkles. So that depends on the glabella region or on the forehead region or on the cheek region. So wherever you have this right or so the wrinkles, you can remove them as a rightidectomy. Next is lipectomy, people who suffer from morbid obesity, where there is excessive accumulation of the hypodermis of this adipose tissue. So they come for the removal of this adipose tissue, which is called lipectomy. So depending on the area where the lipectomy is performed, please report the codes. Whether if it is of the arms or of the trunk or of the lower extremities or of the thighs, we have separate codes for lipectomy.